Lord, you have probed me. And you know me. You know when I sit. And you know when I stand up. You discern my inclinations from afar. And you scrutinize my daily activities. You are so familiar with all my ways. That before I speak even a word, Adonai, you know all about it already. You have hemmed me in, both behind and in front, and you've laid your hand on me. Such wonderful knowledge is beyond me. It's far too high for me to reach. Where can I go to escape your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence. If I climb up to heaven, you're there. If I lie down in shoal, you're there. If I fly away with the wings of the dawn and land beyond the sea, even there, your hand would lead me. Your right hand would hold me fast. If I say, let darkness surround me, let the light around me be night. Even darkness like this is not too dark for you. Rather, night is as clear as day. Darkness and light are the same to you. For you fashioned my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I thank you because I am fearfully made, wonderfully. Your works are wonders. I know this very well. My bones were not hidden from you when I was being made in secret, intricately woven in the depths of the earth. Your eyes could see me as an embryo. But in your book, all my days were already written. My days had been shaped before any of them existed. God, how I prize your thoughts. How many of them there are. If I count them, there are more than the grains of sand. If I finish the count, I am still with you. Now this is where most people stop today, most congregations, because they have a hard time with the rest of this. But I, I don't, and I'll tell you why. It is true that God is love, but it is not all of the truth. And before we condemn David for what I'm about to read, we pray the same thing when we say your kingdom come, your will be done, because when he comes, he comes to destroy the wicked. You understand? That's what you're praying, whether you realize it or not. Today, God's love is totally overemphasized while his righteousness and holiness fades away. God, if only you would kill off the wicked, men of blood, get away from me. They invoke your name for their crafty schemes Yes, your enemies misuse it. I don't know how I hate those who hate you. I feel such disgust with those who defy you. I hate them with unlimited hatred. Your enemies have become my enemies too. You have no idea how appropriate that is. To love what God loves and to hate what he hates. And if you knew your Bible, you'd know many times he talks about what he hates. And then it ends tremendously it doesn't end with a person challenging God or protesting of their righteousness and their innocence but realizing their shortcomings and their sinfulness and I hope that's what you realize right now I hope you come before him the right way not full of yourself because you have some secret knowledge like the Gnostics or because you came into some revelation he's God and there is none other Examine me, God, and know my heart. Test me and know my thoughts. And see, Lord, if there is any hurtful way and lead me along the eternal path. Father, the Jews, my people, my people did not keep Shabbat. Shabbat kept them. We're not keeping Shabbat. Shabbat's keeping us. So keep us today, Father. Be glorified. Please answer my prayer and show up. And Father, I beg you, change my heart. Change my heart. 
Don't let me leave here the same, Father. What you do with them is your business. But I don't want to leave here the same. And if you could just make me just a little bit more like Yeshua, I'll be a whole lot happier. I love you. And I bless you. And I honor you. In Yeshua's name I pray. Amen.